way to work right now and it's pitch, well not pitch dark, but it's dark out. I have um, stone liquid lipstick on from Dose of Color. The light's about to change, I think. So I'll talk to you guys later. So I just spent the last like 20 minutes cleaning up the entire house just a little bit, more like straightening up. Yes, the Hallmark Channel's still on. Look how Christmassy everything is. We just hung my wreath up there, fluffy wreath. So I can film my Christmas decor video for you guys soon, but I'm just waiting for my friend Sam to get here because we're gonna watch Dancing with the Stars finale. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm so happy. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Jordan one guys! Woo! So excited! So Mama B and I filmed Try It Tuesday and we tried a bunch more like pumpkin spice and fall treats for you guys. So I'll have that up very, very soon. And then um, my friend Sam just came over and we watched the Dancing with the Stars finale and I'm so happy at the results. I'm so happy that Jordan won. Um, I really liked Lindsay and Mark too, surprisingly. Um, Initially, I wasn't a huge fan of her, but I really ended up liking her throughout the season, and their, their freestyle was definitely hands down the best this year. Um, so good, so good. And I'm sad Dancing with the Stars is over now. But I think Vanderpump Rules comes back soon, so I need other reality shows. I have a few packages I want to share with you guys this week. So first is from Underclub. Now this is a designer underwear subscription service and they do have a specialty one like for the holidays right now where you can get a naughty or a nice box as a really perfect holiday gift for someone. Um, especially, you know, if you're a guy shopping for a significant other or even a girlfriend gift, I think this is super cute. So it came wrapped really adorably like this. Um, I ended up getting the nice package, but it says this, naughty or nice, open and find out. So they are a monthly subscription service. Um, it's $12.95 and you get a designer pair of underwear every month. It's free shipping and you can skip the box easily as well. Um, but this one, like I said, is a special one for the holidays. So it's like a little gift set. So I've already opened mine and showcased it on Instagram. But as you can see, mine is the nice set. It comes with this little description here. And I got these really cute undies. It's actually, it's actually a thong. But it's like... I think it's still pretty naughty and sexy, if you ask me. <laughs> but the nice pair is like this really like lacy white pair, and then the naughty pair is red lacy, and you can get a brief or a thong. And then this one came with a rose water facial toner, which I love rose water sprays. So I was very excited about that, and it's all natural. And then also came with a bath bomb, and mine just happens to be a mint scent. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells like straight up yummy mint. <laughs> I can't wait to take a bath with this. So this is what the nice set comes with. I will link it down below for you guys. I'm not sure if I have a discount code or anything like that. Um, they did contact me, but this is not sponsored. So thank you to Underclub for sending me those cute, that cute little package. Then um, Living Royal is a really cool sock company. Again, they did contact me, this is not sponsored, and they let me pick out a few different socks, and they these are so much fun, I think, for the holidays too, to put in um, someone's Christmas stocking. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but we used to get socks in our stocking, and these are so, so cool. So I got these ones that look like ballet slippers, and I love that the back even, like, look how much detail they put into this. Even the back of the sock looks like a ballet slipper and it says Living Royal. And these are obviously, like, the longer, like, knee-high socks. So I got that pair. And then I got these really cute pair with lipsticks on them. And these are so soft, you guys. I cannot wait to wear these. So you, these have lipsticks. They're the knee-high. And then I got these really cute pair of cactus ones. Oh, I think they're so cute. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to wear these. I can't explain how soft these are. 
And they have a ton of different socks, you guys, in really cute patterns. So make sure to check them out. Again, I will link, leave them linked down below for you. Next, as you guys know, I am a wet brush brand ambassador. And they have these gorgeous new blingy brushes. Look at that. It looks like a snowflake. I love it so much. And I do believe it comes in other colors because I saw on here that there's a pink glitter one. It's glammed up for the holidays, woohoo. And then there's this really cute mini detangler that has snowflakes on it. Oh my goodness, I love the pattern and it's a little bit glittery too. So, so cute. So I can't wait to photograph those because they're so cute. And Glam Glow sent me their set for the holidays. Look at this awesome set. You can find it at Sephora. And you get a full size of my favorite clearing treatment from them. And then you get three like deluxe size samples of their other masks. Um, this is the other one I really, really love, the hydrating one. Let's see. Comes with the firming, the anti-aging, hydrating, and clarifying. So what a great set for the holidays. I feel like this whole clip is about holiday gifting, but pretty much it is. Um, speaking of holiday gifting, let's go into this one first. This is the Yord watches. Now, I've talked about them before. I got, um, for Father's Day, both of my dads a watch personalized with an um, inscription in the back. And then I also got my brother one of these for his birthday because he loved my dad so much that I purchased one for him. And now I have one of my own. And this is actually the new style, which is called Cassia. And it's in the Walnut Rose and Rose. Look at this, you guys. Isn't that so beautiful? So if you're not aware, your watches are made of beautiful wood but they have a great flexibility to them still, and they're just so unique. And I loved, loved this new style because I love how slim the actual band is, but the face is so big, and I love that kind of style watch. As you can see, it's rose gold, but it does have different kind of coloring as well. If you're not into this walnut and rose, there are different styles. But I'll put it on my wrist soon and show you how it looks, but I absolutely love it. All watches come in this really beautiful wood box, magnetic box, and there's also like a little drawer here. I have my little fortune that I got the other day in there. But it also comes with one of these like natural finishing oils to preserve your watch. And a little cloth to clean off your watch. So just such a really nice presentation and beautiful for a gift, for gift giving. So for Black Friday, they are doing an amazing, amazing deal. I'm going to link it down below. I believe it's 25% off. It's a really awesome discount on their watches. So if you're thinking of purchasing one of these for a, a, your dad, your husband, your wife, whatever it may be, I definitely would purchase it now while they're doing the discount. Um, and on top of it, I get to do a giveaway for you guys and all those details will be linked down below. So make sure to check that out too. Here is my watch on my wrist and you are able to input your measurements, your wrist measurements, so you can have it fit perfectly right out of the box which is what mine is. Here's the clasp. It also is like a rose gold. It fits so perfect. I love it. Okay. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> I'm so kind of, I'm just obsessed with these watches. Um, so Juno and co sent me a package as well. And I believe shot, stop what we're paying for makeup. Okay. Give me a little card. I'll read that later. But there are a bunch of awesome brushes in here. Look at this fan brush. Ooh, it's so soft. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try that. They sent me a bunch of different brushes. Ooh, I like that crease brush. Oh my goodness. This one. Oh wow, these are so soft, you guys. There's another brush they sent me. Looks like, ooh, it's like a powder fluffy brush. And then a sponge, their sponge. Ooh, what a fancy box it comes in. Hmm, seems nice. Another brush, oh my gosh, they definitely spoiled me. Another sponge, well maybe I have to give one away to you guys. And then look how cute their lashes come. 
This kind of like cute little lollipop. Thank you so much to them. As I try these out, you guys, I will let you know what I think. Here is my arm candy for the day. I've got my Yord watch on. I have a bangle from Henry, Henry Bendel, and then a spike bracelet from Stella and Dot. I just went to American Eagle and found some really cute stuff there. I also went to Pandora. Um, by the way, um, American Eagle is 40% off the entire store already. They already had their Black Friday deals going on today. And Pandora had their Black Friday deal going on. Buy two charms, get one free. So I got a few gifts. And then I also did get this charm right here of Santa and his sleigh. You guys, the mall was insane already because there was a ton of Black Friday deals already going on. Um, I only went to Pandora, American Eagle, and Torrid. I didn't get anything at Torrid, just nothing really spoke to me. Even though it was 40% off at Torrid and 50% off their clearance, it was 40% off at American Eagle. And I told you what the deal was at Pandora and I already picked up some gifts for people. Um, we're not going too crazy this year with gifting, but I do just really, really love giving gifts. <laughs> To my family so um, I'm at Starbucks right now and if you didn't already notice I did change my arm candy to my bangles my Pandora Christmas bangles the other arm candy I showed you earlier I took a picture of it for Instagram but I'm also going to be wearing those tomorrow for Thanksgiving I'm curious if y'all can guess what I ended up getting because it's not my typical fall or winter Starbucks got a pink drink because it's 86 Today. This is my favorite part of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I mean, the balloons are fun, but I love getting to see all the different Broadway musicals. If I lived in New York, I would be at like one every single week, <laughs> I feel like. I'm looking a little rough, but this is my morning. Some coffee and some oxygen uh, under eye patches. I accidentally ripped this one because I stayed up way too late last night, Black Friday, early Black Friday shopping for gifts for people. I got my brother done. Who else? There was one other person I got done yesterday and I got a partial gift for Mama B and one thing for myself. <laughs> so I'll have a Black Friday haul probably like a week after Black Friday. All right, so just finished doing my makeup for Thanksgiving. I used the Sunset Palette from Natasha Denona. I am wearing, I'm so glowy. I think I overdid the highlight today. We're just gonna go with it though. I'm wearing the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Thanks to Octoly for sending me this. I have not worn this foundation in years and I forgot how much I love it so much. Makes my skin look really good. I am in 1N2 Accrue. It matches me pretty much perfect. Ugh! There's this little red blotchiness on my skin, and I keep covering it, and it keeps just coming through, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Anyways, love this foundation. Full coverage. Lasts so well on my skin. I love it. And then on my lips, I think I might change my lip color, though, to gingerbread. I don't know. Maybe I want to do a nude today. I'm going to bring both in my purse with me, but right now I have this YSL lippy on, also from Octoly, and it's the Rouge Per Rouge Pure Couture from YSL Beauty in shade number 10, and it's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna, I need to calm down this highlight. Okay, better. That was a little much. Um, this is such a beautiful nude. It's like a mauve beautiful, beautiful color. And so creamy. I love it. Okay, now to go do my hair and get changed. These. All right, guys, here is a better look at my makeup in natural light. 
got these earrings in Houston at a boutique or wholesale that wholesale jewelry place. Oh, I forgot to put my arm candy on. I'm about to put my watch and my two bracelets on as well. I got this dress at American Eagle yesterday. It's so comfortable. It's kind of like a really light sweater material, but I love the shoulder area, how it's like this beautiful lace cutout detail. And I'm about to go over Mama Bee's and do a little bit of cooking first. I'm gonna make stuffed mushrooms for the first time and then we're gonna have yummy, yummy food. Happy Thanksgiving, baby! Okay, Mama Bee's already got the table going. And look at this beauty right here. Whoa, whoa, There's check Mama it out. <laughs> Wow, look at that, baby. All right, cooking in the high Thanksgiving style with Mama B. Just Mama B. Yeah, just Mama B. Apparently, Missy was gonna make them, but I'm controlling like that. Uh, it's so all right. We're gonna it's make some stuffed mushrooms. So we're gonna make stuffed mushrooms. We got some oh, onion chopped up in a pan chopped with some oil. Onion. Missy, get me some garlic. Or Brian, get me some uh, garlic. I'm so overwhelmed. All right, we just added a, a teaspoon of some minced garlic. And, and Mama B earlier took the stems off of the mushrooms and chopped it up. Well, it, it's a little bit of both. This is going to be the filling. That's the filling. We'll show you how pretty the mushrooms are later. She cleaned them. And then also I did not... Not, not all of that, please. Yeah. Missy doesn't like a lot of spinach in her. We're so. putting spinach in it, but you don't have to put spinach in it. But Mama be likes it. Spinach. Put a bunch of spinach ah! in it. <laughs> Here, Minnie, put that over there. That's Brian commentating on the side. <laughs> Say that again, sorry. Now that the mushrooms are cooked down with the spinach, you're gonna pour a little bit, probably like a half a, a cup of Progresso Italian style bread breadcrumbs. Crumbs. Yummy. That's and then we're gonna put some butter in here. Ooh, butter? I have some butter left over oh, that I that's used that like... has a little bit of parsley in it. I was gonna say herb butter, yum. So, throw it in there. Don't be shy. This is Mama B style. No measurements. Sorry, folks. Just throw it in. That's how I cook. And what it's doing right now is it's getting nice and thick like a stuffing, like you do with your bread stuffing. And we're going to throw some cheese in here right now. Some mozzarella, any kind of cheese that you like. Mozzarella. I like mozzarella. And then what it does is it... Ooh, it melty gets all goodness. Melty. And then... You just sprinkled a little in there for now? Yeah, like a half a cup. Okay. So you got some shredded cheese over there. Then we'll put some more on the top. I'm going to put some Parmesan cheese sprinkles in here too. So here are the mushrooms all nice and clean. I cleaned them with a paper wet towel because if you clean them underwater, they'll get very wet and then they will, they'll be goopy. Oh, more, more butter. More butter. So what you do is with your God's gift is coat each one of these with some butter. And I have some parsley butter that I just had. Is that to get them brown or what? No, it just gives it more flavor. Oh, okay. Mixture. And you're just going to fill them with a little bit of mixture. And then you're going to, once they're all filled, you're going to sprinkle them with a little bit of cheese. And then how long do you cook them for? Until the mushrooms are getting cooked, you'll see. <laughs> That's descriptive. Well, I don't know. Okay, we'll tell you after how long it ends up yeah. taking. This is what they look like with all the cheese ready to go in. Yum. Look at my boys. Oh my Just goodness. sitting so good. Look at you. Good boys.
starts, you guys. I'm doing some Black Friday shopping at Bath and Body Works, and it's only six o'clock. We had an early Thanksgiving today. So I'm not gonna show you guys what I ended up getting, um, but I did get the tote. This also comes in like a gray, like kind of slate color with um, kind of a metallic gray in the background. This one has a rose gold in the background and it's pink. I really went back and forth with the tote on what color I wanted, but I ended up going with the pink. And then I got a ton of Christmas presents. I'm really, really happy with myself because I saved $180 because I stacked a bunch of coupons and I got the buy three, get three free. So I saved a ton of money and I'm really excited. One last thing before, um, Daniel's actually coming to pick me up to go Black Friday shopping the rest of the night, but my ornaments from Lennox came in. These are Tika's, totally Tika's ornaments that she made with Lennox this year. And I did purchase these right when they went on sale on the website. They are absolutely beautiful. Look at this, how cool is that? I'm so happy for her. So I will link those down below for you guys. I think they are possibly on back order, but they re um, put them back in stock pretty quickly. So you should be able to get them very quickly. Um, I also got two more things in the mail, but um, I'm gonna go through it real quick. Amazing Cosmetics sent me their new illuminating primer and their illuminating concealer. I'm very excited to try that out. This is what it looks like. And then I also got this little package. I'm not even sure who it's from. Let's see. It says something about whales. It has this really cute little brush with whales on it. Hmm, and a little mirror. I'll it was actually for Black Friday. It says, whale, 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 what do we have here? We're turning Black Friday blue with our dreamy limited edition sperm, what? Sperm whale blender. The price is $3.99. It's vegan, ultra soft. And it's super, super cute. So there's the website if you want to get this cute blending brush that has little whales on it. The things you do for a good photo for Instagram. <laughs> Getting a sneak peek of my Black Friday haul. So I'm about to make the easiest pumpkin cookies ever. I don't know if we've shared these on my channel before. Um, but we make these a lot in the fall and winter and they are very low in calories as well. Um, really good also if you have like allergies to eggs or anything like that. Um, I think technically they, I, they are vegetarian. But I don't know if they're vegan because of the, the cake mix. But anyways, you only need two ingredients, a can of pumpkin, I'm using the Libby's All Natural. No like added spices or sugar. Just get the regular pumpkin. And then a thing of spice cake mix or you can use carrot cake mix. You can, you can use gingerbread cake. Pretty much any flavor you know, combination that you would like. We feel that the spice cake is the best combo because we like like the very fall spicy flavors with the pumpkin. And a lot of the time you can get cake box mix like this for a dollar and the pumpkin is usually on sale right now too. So this is also really inexpensive. So I'm just gonna combine these two, set the oven to 350, and you're just gonna plop the, the pumpkin mixture um, by spoonful onto a pan. I believe it's ungreased, so I'll make sure, but I'm pretty sure it's ungreased. And it's for 18 to 20 minutes. And they are a very soft, like cake-like cookie. So if you don't like that, then you might not love these, but it's kind of like having little drops of pumpkin pie cookies or so something. Here's how it should look after I combine the two ingredients. And you just plop it by the spoonful onto a baking sheet. I also am going to put a few semi-sweet morsels in halfway through, because I'm gonna do half plain, half with a few chocolate chips in them. So you do need to grease your pans or use silicone mats like I'm using or use parchment paper, but here's how they look ready to go into the oven. You don't have to worry too much about the spacing because they do not spread very much. Um, they stay the shape that you place them. And here's what they look like out of the oven. So these are the plain ones and these were the chocolate chip. I don't have too many of those. But they are super moist in the inside and like I said, they are more of like a chewy cookie. They're not a crunchy cookie, but they do have like kind of a little bit of a crunch on the outside of them. They're a big hit in my family. My Stepdad especially loves them. Now, just a forewarning, they are 
easy to eat a lot of, but because they have the, a lot of pumpkin in them, they are very fibrous, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm warning you now, don't eat too many, because you know why. All right, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I just finished baking and cleaning up. Actually, the last batch is in the oven right now, and guess what I'm watching? The holiday. I actually watched White Christmas last night, too, as I was editing. I'm also about to edit the Christmas decor tour for you guys. That'll be up next week. I'll see you then.